What's up guys, it is Brad or Demon Asylum here, I'm bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. So a bunch of you have been hitting me up today asking about the method we have previously used to get Fallout 4 DLC a bit early. So basically this was a method that was only on Xbox One, there was no method for this on PlayStation 4. For PC I believe you may have been able to use a VPN to change your location and to have it work that way for you to download it earlier. I'm not entirely sure if that's a method that has ever worked as I don't have Fallout 4 on PC. If that is a method that worked on PC it may very well still work. Again, I'm not entirely sure. This is specifically about the Xbox One method. So pretty much the method was that you needed to have the season pass and you would be able to change your location to New Zealand as New Zealand in local time is the earliest anyone in the world would have the ability to download Fallout 4 DLC and you would be able to get the DLC as soon as New Zealand got it. So once it hit midnight in New Zealand, it would be, I think, 8 a.m. for me, Eastern time zone, the day before DLC would have normally released in the United States and I'd be able to get it that much sooner. So this is a method that unfortunately is not working for a lot of people who have been testing it out today as the Contraptions Workshop DLC is releasing tomorrow for Fallout 4. I tested it myself as well and it was not working. I tried the location of New Zealand. I tried the location of Australia. Both of those did not work and so as it looks the method probably has been fixed by Microsoft Bethesda or a mix of the two working together on it. However, it could be a couple other things as well. It could be a case where it's just some sort of a glitch going on with this DLC in particular where we're not able to download it. Basically, I didn't even point this out, but when I went to actually go try it after I changed my location to New Zealand and Australia, the DLC was showing up. It was just telling me that I still needed to purchase it. And of course, since I don't have a credit card that you do need to use to purchase it from the location of Australia and New Zealand I wasn't able to actually buy it so there was no physical way for me to actually get the DLC early living here in the United States and of course would be no different if you live anywhere else in the world if you live in Australia or New Zealand then of course you're going to have the ability as of normally to go ahead and purchase those unless you already have the season pass you can download them anyway but for someone like myself who lives in the United States the method was not working in any way, shape, or form for me. So again, it could be a case where it got fixed. It could be a case where there's some sort of a glitch going on with this DLC in particular. Whatever the rhyme or reason is for this method not working this time around for the fourth Fallout 4 DLC here, uh, we're not going to be able to really know if this method is going to continue not working until the next DLC comes out, which is going to be sometime in July, the Vault Workshop DLC. As for now, though, it does unfortunately look like this DLC is not going to work. Maybe it's got something to do with the locations that I tried, such as Australia and New Zealand. Maybe it will work later on in about, I think it is like five hours, four or five hours when the DLC releases in the United Kingdom's local time. I'll be trying that, and if it does end up working, I'll upload a follow-up video to let you all know. But my guess is that it doesn't matter what location you change your Xbox to, that it's not going to work. It's just going to tell you that you need to purchase the DLC again, even if you do have the season pass. So we're probably just going to have to wait until the DLC does release in the respective times based on wherever it is that you guys live. So even though it's a bummer that this method does look like it got fixed, and if that is the case, of course, it's going to stay that way. This is very expected to happen. It's no surprise to me whatsoever that this did get fixed. The only surprise to me actually here is that this wasn't fixed sooner. I expected because of how many people making videos about this method and because of how long this method has been around on Xbox that this would have been fixed much sooner and especially especially at the very least before their biggest DLC Far Harbor came out. But, uh, you know, again, I was pretty surprised to see that that wasn't the case and we should all just be happy for the fact that it wasn't fixed for those first DLCs so that we were able to take advantage of it for those. But guys, that's basically going to be it for this video. If you have any questions or confusions regarding this whole concept method or video in general, go ahead and post in the comment section. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can and help explain anything that I need to for you guys. And if you have enjoyed this video or found it informative, feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more Fallout 4 videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone and peace out.